Hi friends, I'm Mark Govan, host of Florida Gardening, heard on 970 WFLA AM in Tampa Bay. Today I'm over at the Willow Tree Nursery and we're going to talk about peace lilies and how to prune off the dead flowers of a peace lily. Well, I know many of you grow peace lilies, especially indoors, because they just love to be in the shade. Well, with peace lilies, once they get of size, they start to produce these long stems, and on top of the stems, we call this a spathe. You get these little white flower bracts on the back side, and then of course the interior part of that flower is where the pollen comes off the plant too. And I'll show you a little bit uh, how you can see all that little white stuff coming off. Some people think when they see that on their plant that it might be an insect, but I'm going to show you the difference here in just a little bit. But peace lilies are a great plant to grow indoors because they can take that nice shade that we have inside the home. You don't want these put out in the sun. Too much sun, your peace lily is going to die. Also, with peace lilies, you got to remember, they like to be kept on the wet side. So don't let your peace lilies dry out and don't put them in the full sun. Well, for today's demonstration, we're going to only need one tool. And of course, that's our handy dandy clippers. Clippers are real easy, and I'll show you how to take off the spent blossoms that we have up on top of this plant. Well, first of all, just like I had said earlier, this little piece in the middle here gets a lot of pollen built up on the plant. And a lot of people do call me and say that they see white stuff on their plant and they think it might be bugs. Well, what it actually is, is the pollen being ejected from this part of the plant. Now, sometimes when you tap it, you can see the little bit of pollen coming off. Now, it's not coming off right now, but certain times of day, it, it comes off and coats some of the leaves below. I just don't want you to be uh, thinking that that is where the problem is existing. So, but uh, this is just uh, one of the problems I see on Ethereums. Now, getting to how to trim these uh, flowers off. Now, take a look. If I pull these back a little bit, you're going to see how, the, how long this stem comes up out of the plant. If this was a, a one that was bad, we would go ahead and trim this off, but this one still has a few days left. We've got one here that's already done, and we can go ahead and cut this, and we're going to cut it right at the base. Keeping your plants looking good is one of the things you really need to consider anytime you're growing plants indoors, and this is an easy way for you to keep your plants uh, well maintained so that they always look fresh for you. Well, I hope this has helped you uh, achieve the goal of being able to know where to cut the dead flowers uh, off of your peace lilies and keeping your plants looking right. You know, anytime I have plants inside the house, I always make sure I go by on a regular basis and remove any of the old dead uh, flowers. Otherwise, you're going to have to sweep them up off the floor anyway, and you don't want to do that. This is a good way to maintain your plants, keeping them looking healthy at all times. I'm Mark Govan, uh, host of the Florida Gardening radio program on 970 WFLA AM, here talking to you today at the uh, Willow Tree Nursery.